Want to know how to overcome the fear of going live on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube? Have you been told that going live and streaming live on these different social media platforms are exactly what you need to do to grow your business? However, the thought of it makes you want to throw up. Stay tuned because I'm going to help you get the clarity and confidence you need to finally go live. My name is Katie Thompson from katiethompson.com. Make sure you hit that bell to be notified every single time I go live and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss an episode where I teach you how to take your business from zero to profits using the online marketing strategies that are effective today. If you're trying to grow your influence audience and income using social media, then you know that you have to go live. In fact, if you don't know the why behind live video, make sure you check out my video on why you need to be streaming live on social media. But knowing you need to go live and actually pushing the live button are two totally different things because I get it, it can be super scary. But if you follow my pre-live strategy in this video, you're gonna have the confidence and clarity that you need to find hit that live button and start impacting the lives that you want to impact and attract the right clients and customers to you and to your business. I still remember the first time that I went live and I was terrified. And if I would have known the pre-live strategy that I'm about to tell you, it would have made my life so much easier easier. I'm telling you guys, since I started implementing this pre-live strategy, this has helped me to feel 1000 times more confident and comfortable showing up on video, on live streams, and it's helped to 10x my business, my sales, the amount of leads I'm generating on a daily basis. And be sure to stay all the way through to the end because I'm going to give you a bonus tip on exactly where to go and how to find those topics to go live on. Let's get into this. Number one, the biggest thing to overcome the fear of going live is to get into action. And the first action step you need to take is to put it in your calendar, make it real, make it something that you can't just come up with any other excuse on and that you actually have it in your calendar. You're doing it on a specific day at a specific time. And in fact, if that day and that time works for you, I would even recommend continuing that pattern weekly. If it's on a Monday at 2 p.m., then every Monday, come hail or high water, you're going live at 2 p.m. to attract more clients to you and to blow up your business, your income, and your impact. My number two pre-life strategy that I use is an actual outline. I prepare before I record any video before I ever go on live and I put it into my exact live outline. You can find this outline on how to monetize Facebook lives right here and it will let you in on the details of exactly how I outline my topics and so I know what I'm going to say before I come on and talk and so I can feel confident in the subject I'm speaking about and have clarity and exactly what I'm going to be conveying to my audience and know without a shadow of a doubt that I'm bringing value to the people that matter most to me. As a rundown to that outline real quick, and guys, if you want to get the nitty gritty on it, make sure and go check out that video. But my acronym for it is IAPCC. Introduce yourself, ask a question, make a promise to your audience, convey the content that you're going to convey. Usually I do two to five tips or strategies in the content portion of it. And at the end of it, having a clear call to action, which gets me into my next pre-live strategy is that you've got to research the content in advance and have that content ready to go. So you've got to know the value that you're going to be bringing to your audience before you even show up on your live video. One way to think about content is, and I want you guys to answer this in the comments below this video, um, what's one thing that your ideal avatar or your ideal client is Googling on a daily basis? What is a problem that you can solve for them with your products, your services, or anything that you're promoting in the marketplace? 
now setting up for the live video, one thing to consider is the angle of the camera. You guys, my camera right now is faced exactly at eye level to me so that you can see my face clearly and it's not coming up from the bottom, it's not coming up too high from the top. It is a conversational setting for a camera and so you wanna be, you wanna be conscious of where you're gonna be setting your camera up and one thing that you can consider using, which is what I'm using right now, is an actual tripod. If you get a tripod, um, you can get ones that have the ring light around them that actually will help illuminate your face and brighten you up and make you look and feel more confident, uh, you know, going live and streaming live on social media. The exact ring light that I use, which includes that tripod, is in the description below if you wanna check that out. But guys, if you don't have the funds for fancy equipment or for lighting, then you can absolutely use the natural lighting from your window. You can even stack books up to get your camera up or use your phone camera. The, the newest iPhones and the latest Android phones actually have amazing cameras. The quality on it is gonna be very comparable to a DSLR camera. I am, however, using a, a DSLR camera. It is a Sony camera. I'll link it in the comments. However, I will tell you the one really cool thing about this is that in video, I can actually blur out some of my background so that you guys can concentrate more on me than the background, which gets me into my next pre-live strategy is that you want to check out the background and the surroundings, kind of clean up any clutter or anything that's around. If you've got a bunch of garbage or things in your background, that's going to be distracting. You just want to move those out of the camera angle. And the last thing before you go live is to make sure that you ask your friends, family, coworkers, anyone who is in your corner to come on and join you live so that you can get some interaction and some people commenting and and loving on your live and showing you support and helping to encourage you to show up. Bonus, <laughs> let's talk about how to find the different content topics to go live about. There's two different things that I use for this. One is called Answer the Public and it is, I believe, owned by Google, but Answer the Public is somewhere where you can go, answerthepublic.com. You type in a specific question that someone might have around your product or type in a single word and it will bring up all the different things that people are typing into Google around that one word. The other one is keywords everywhere. This again is another really cool tool to show you how many people are searching for the, those specific keywords that you're speaking about in your live videos and this will get your creative energy flowing and get you thinking about different solutions to problems that you have and that your ideal avatar has. Because like I always tell my coaching clients, you've got to work backwards from the pain point. What are the pain points of your avatar or your ideal client? What are they, what are they struggling with, suffering with? What's holding them back? How do they feel at this time? And what kind of solution can you give them to those types of feelings? And that's what you want to create your content around. All right, guys, now that you know how to overcome the fear of going live and that it all begins with being prepared, I want you, when you show up on camera, to be able to attract your ideal client or customer. We call this your avatar. And if you do not know who your avatar is, which you should, you should know what they wear, what they drive, what they look like, who they are, who, where they hang out, all of these different questions, I'm gonna help you uncover your ideal avatar so when you're creating video, you're creating it for the right person. So if you get down in the descriptions below this video, I have a free PDF that you can download that's going to help you identify exactly who it is that you're going to be talking to in these videos. Because if, you do, if you've never heard this before, it's so true. When you market to everyone, you market to no one. So we want you marketing to that one avatar, that one ideal client of yours. And this worksheet in the descriptions below is going to help you do that. Also, if you want to be able to pick my brain and 
and ask me questions and get involved in a community of other like-minded entrepreneurs, go ahead and join Zero to Profits. It's my free mastermind group. And every Friday, I do a live Q&A for the group and answer all of your pressing questions on the videos that I create here and in any of the content that I share in that group. Again, the link is in the description below. If you guys like this video, make sure to give me a like, type value in the comments below, tell me your biggest takeaways, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell to be notified when I go live every single week. Thank you.